Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. Some concepts and vocabulary are subtle in French language and sometimes it's difficult to use them properly in another language. Today, we'll try to explain some differences and nuances behind three notions. Must, need and want. They're often intertwined too. Do we need what we want? Must you do what you want? Do I need what I think I must? Dooby 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 doo. Let's dive in. The main translation of the modal verb must in French is the irregular verb devoir. Devoir. It deals mostly with une obligation. Une obligation. An obligation. Tu dois payer tes impôts avant mardi. Tu dois payer tes impôts avant mardi. You must pay your taxes before Tuesday. It's also actually about an unavoidable cause for a desired effect. We don't notice it when it's implicit, but we can be explicit too. Pour gagner le match, l'équipe doit marquer deux buts. Pour gagner le match, l'équipe doit marquer deux buts. To win this game, the team must score two goals. Nous devons nous lever tôt si nous voulons être à l'heure. Nous devons nous lever tôt si nous voulons être à l'heure. We must get up early if we want to be on time. But at the conditional, devoir means should. Okay? Conditional in French is usually a way to soften up a verb a little. Tu devrais mettre une autre robe ce soir. Tu devrais mettre une autre robe ce soir. You should wear another dress tonight. Devoir can also be a noun though. Le devoir means duty. Le devoir. As in, tu dois faire ton devoir. You must do your duty. Tu dois faire ton devoir. However, in its plural form, les devoirs means homework. Les devoirs. Tu dois faire tes devoirs. Tu dois faire tes devoirs. You must do your homework. Of course, the verb devoir is also the translation of have to plus infinitive. Je dois partir. Je dois partir. I have to go. Have to is sometimes translated literally though, but mostly in negative form. It raises up the fact that most obligations are actually guidelines and you can break if you're ready to face the consequences. Or more simply put, it's about a non-obligation rather than a strict interdiction. J'ai pas à lui dire bonjour si j'en ai pas envie. J'ai pas à lui dire bonjour si j'en ai pas envie. I don't have to say hello to him if I don't want to. There's also a third translation of must, which is il faut que, il faut que, il faut que tu dormes maintenant. Il faut que tu dormes maintenant. You must sleep now. We'll come back to it, but I've talked about this construction in a previous episode about impersonal verbs, and you will find a link to it as usual on communefrances.com. Finally, French people have a strange grasp of the English language sometimes, so you might hear another expression that sounds weird and almost ugly. C'est le must. I hate this one. C'est le must. In this case, it's supposed to mean the best, as in this is the best. Mostly, it's only found in some advertisement, though. Don't use it. Need is, in French, avoir besoin. Avoir besoin, or more rarely, nécessité. For example, we would say, j'ai besoin d'un autre indice pour résoudre cette énigme. J'ai besoin d'un autre indice pour résoudre cette énigme. I need another clue to solve this riddle. When it's placed Before another verb, however, we can also use devoir, devoir. There's a small difference in meaning. Devoir seems to be mostly for needs that come from outside influences, such as schedules or social obligations. For instance, we would say, désolé, j'ai un rendez-vous, je dois partir. Désolé, j'ai un rendez-vous, je dois partir. Sorry, I have a meeting, I need to go. But here, before the verb, avoir besoin would mean an influence from inside ourselves, something more important, perhaps emotional or more urgent. Je n'arrive pas à respirer, j'ai besoin de partir. Je n'arrive pas à respirer, j'ai besoin de partir. I can't breathe, I need to go. It ties up with les besoins, les besoins, the needs, something vital. There is no common translation for needy in French, but the closest would be nécessiteux, nécessiteux. 
but it's a bit old fashioned and mostly used for people in deep poverty. We'd rather use dans le besoin, dans le besoin, in need. Je travaille dans une association pour aider les nécessiteux, les gens dans le besoin. Je travaille dans une association pour aider les nécessiteux, les gens dans le besoin. I'm working for a charity that helps needy people, those in need. Dans le besoin, dans le besoin is mostly about money, but it can be about other problems as well. Je vais t'aider à déménager, je donne toujours un coup de main à un ami dans le besoin. Je vais t'aider à déménager. Je donne toujours un coup de main à un ami dans le besoin. I'll help you move. I always give a helping hand to a friend in need. Finally, once again, we can use il faut. Il faut. It's impersonal enough that it can be used both for must and need. Since need is more personal, we often use need to add a personal pronoun to this construction. Let's see an example. J'ai besoin d'eau. J'ai besoin d'eau means I need water, but I would rather use il faut here with the personal pronoun me to say precisely who needs it, giving us il me faut de l'eau, il me faut de l'eau, I need water. Finally, to want in French is the irregular verb vouloir, vouloir. It has a different but close meaning to the others in day-to-day -day situations. Je veux partir. Je dois partir. I want to go. I have to go. Je veux partir. Je dois partir. You can soften it again with the conditional, for instance, when you're buying or ordering something. Bonjour, je voudrais une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je voudrais une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Good morning, I would like a baguette, please. Another version is avoir envie. Avoir envie. It's a synonym, but it's also somewhat more personal. And it's something you can live without. It's close to... I feel like. J'ai envie d'un gâteau et j'aurais aussi envie d'une glace. J'ai envie d'un gâteau et j'aurais aussi envie d'une glace. I feel like having a cake, but I like an ice cream as well. The difference is sharper with nouns. Vouloir is the root of la volonté. La volonté, the will. While avoir envie uses the word l'envie, the desire. My wants would also translate into mes envies. Mais envie. Et toi, did you have trouble with these verbs before? Which other close concept would you like to hear more about? What was the last thing you wanted but didn't need? Tell me in the comment section, in French if you dare, I want to hear from you. If you're on YouTube, you will find a link below this video to the blog, communefrancaise.com. On my site, I read all the comments and answer all your questions as well. Did you like this video? Do you want more? Let me share exclusive lessons, private offers, and my 10 favorite Common Frances handpicked episodes with you by email. It's super easy to join. Leave me your first name and your email, and I will get back to you straight away. Subscribe now to get my best content straight to your inbox, this fantastic stuff that is not on YouTube. The best thing is, it's all free. Merci for watching Common Frances TV. Sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut!